We're focusing on state dependent cues here, and by cues, we're talking about the environmental conditions that existed when a memory was formed and the environmental conditions that existed when trying to retrieve this information. And it's important you understand the difference between context and state dependent cues. Context dependent cues refers to our external environment that existed when the memory was formed, so sights, smells, sounds that accompanied that material being learned. State dependent cues refers to our internal environment, whether it be our physiological or psychological environment. And we have a significantly higher retrieval rate when we can match our internal and physiological psychological state at retrieval time to our internal and physiological and psychological state during the actual learning time. So by physiological state, we could be talking about an alcohol-induced state being high, being in pain. Psychological state could be our mood, being depressed, happy, anxious, irate, etc. And there are numerous studies that back up the notion of state-dependent cues. So a classic by Goodwin, where he got drunk people to hide money and alcohol. And the next day, when they were in a different physiological state, their retrieval was low. They forgot where they hid their money and alcohol. But the next time they were in a similar physiological state, being drunk again, they could remember where they actually stored that money or alcohol. Other studies have also backed up this. So, for instance, Pierce um, found that when people learn information in pain, their retrieval rate was higher when they were also in pain, as opposed to... Um, learning information not in pain and then trying to recall this information when in pain or vice versa. Hope this has helped.